Good morning, world. Hello, everyone, everywhere. Pastor Robert Tibetto here with another session of Prayer 2021 for today, May 16th. And today's scripture reading comes from 1 Kings chapter 8, verse 29. May your eyes be open towards this temple night and day, this place of which you said, My name shall be there, so that you will hear the prayer your servant prays towards this place. Let's go to the Lord with a word of prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you that, that you are our God, our Heavenly Father. Father, we thank you that your ears are attentive to our prayers. And Father, we thank you that our body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. So when we pray, we know your ears are attentive to our prayers and that we can know that you hear our prayers. And since we know that you hear our prayers, we can know assuredly that our prayers are answered. Father, we give you honor, glory, and praise for this broadcast this day, and we thank you and praise you in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Glory to God. Now, we've been studying about the prayer petition for the last several days, and, and I've emphasized the need for you, you, to get into the Word of God and do a study of both the scriptures that relate and apply to your specific situations. And yesterday I said that today we'll begin to lay out your prayer or petition. What do I mean by that? Well, if you've picked up on one theme concerning the prayer or petition from these last several days, it should have been to the point of scriptures that relate directly or indirectly to a situation you are praying about. It doesn't matter what the situation is. If it's something you need God to move on and answer for you, something important, a life-changing type of situation, you need to present it to him in a way that leaves absolutely no doubt about the outcome you are expecting to receive. I like referring to it, think of it like a lawyer preparing a very important case to present before a judge. The lawyer has all of the legal books, the court case histories, the Supreme Court rulings, everything he needs at his disposal. The only thing is he or she has to do the research to find the court cases that ruled on the exact situation the lawyer is representing the client in. The lawyer is looking for example after example where another court or even the same court and perhaps the same exact judge has ruled on a previous case in a way that is beneficial to the lawyer's client. The lawyer will have reference after reference after reference of prior cases, Supreme Court cases, circuit court cases, district court cases, if applicable to the jurisdiction of the court. All of these cases represent precedents. That means other courts have reviewed similar situations, made rulings, and provided legal opinions on the matter. This simply makes it easier for the judge to move in favor of the case the lawyer is presenting. Why? Because of the history of prior cases similar to this case already proven to exist. That's why I've been emphasizing the need for you to do your own research, your own Bible study, your own search of the scriptures to find direct scriptural evidence to support your case. Scriptures where someone prayed and received healing or some other breakthrough, the exact kind you are praying for is best. Those are the best examples that you can use. But as we covered before, we live in a culture totally different from the culture the Bible was written in. So as laws and rulings and court cases have been adopted to the changing times, we need to pray in accordance with God's will concerning our situation in our time. So if there's not a direct example, like I said, for example, healing, well, we need to find scriptures that can be applied to our situation, even though it may not be an exact match. An example would be on finding a job or making a career decision. In that example, you could pray Philippians 4.19 that all your needs are met according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. Now, that does not mean God will rain money down out of heaven for you, okay? But if you are praying for employment or for a career decision, that could be one of the scriptures you would list and stand on for your prayer petition. Amen? Ah, uh, don't shut me down when I'm preaching good. Glory to God. Now, uh, we're about out of time for today, so tomorrow we'll go over the actual laying out of your prayer or petition. Right now, I want to pray for you. 
I believe you are finally beginning to realize that presenting a true prayer of petition to God is not something that you should take lightly. Remember way back when we started this about a week ago, I said a lot of people think their morning prayer time, their, you know, their daily prayer time to God, they run it like a prayer petition. I need this, I need this, I need this, I need this, and I just thank you for providing it. Well, I think you're starting to realize the concept that, you know, the prayer petition is not something you need, you can take lightly. It is just like a lawyer takes a lot of preparation for a very important case, you need to prepare your prayer petition in like manner. Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you, Father, that someone somewhere this day has grasped the concept of how important the prayer of petition is to you and now how important it is to them. That they won't take it lightly, that they'll take it very seriously for the prayer petition is a very serious matter. And I thank you, Father, for wisdom and understanding by the Holy Spirit as we prepare our prayers of petition. Father, we thank you and praise you for answered prayer. We thank you and praise you for all that you do for us. And we give you honor, glory, and praise in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Do me a favor, leave a comment down below if you got something out of today's session. And I greatly appreciate it. If you just take two minutes of your time, jump on over on iTunes, do a quick search for Prayer 2021, and leave a rating and review there for us. It really does help us to get the word out into all the earth. And be sure to visit our uh, website at podcasterforchrist.com. Download the free resource, How to Launch a Christian Podcast, right there. If you're a church pastor uh, and you're wondering about how your church or your ministry can, can utilize the, you know, the new online world that we are living in, well, we got a resource right there for you as well. It's free. It'll bless you immensely. Okay, till next time, this is Pastor Bob reminding you again for 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 17 in the Living Bible to always keep on praying. Be blessed, folks. Talk to you again tomorrow.